gentlemen. Man, so recently I saw something on a uh, YouTube post, and it said that you should gain some life experience before you start a YouTube channel so you don't become a professional yapper. And, damn, this thing's shaking a lot. And you know what I say to that? I say that's pretty pessimistic because, like, what if, man, what if you're just down in the dumps and you don't have any confidence, you're not the best speaker, you want to get better, you just want to start somewhere, and then somebody is telling you, no, you should achieve this, this, and this first. Like, isn't that the point of not procrastinating? Isn't that the point of doing something that's good enough instead of doing something that's perfect? And that came from somebody who honestly supports those beliefs that, like, yeah, you should start something before you know if you're good enough. So that's a little hypocritical. Maybe that person is seeing too many people create YouTube channels and not actually giving enough value. But the thing is, is that you don't know what's valuable to a random person on the internet. You just don't know. I don't know if this, if this will help anybody, but I thought that I should share it. I always like get this certain thought, this like certain hit in my mind, and it makes me like need to make a video. Like I write down video ideas all the time, but sometimes there's like a certain form of thought that's like, no, I have to do this now because if not, I won't be able to make it in the future. And I hope you guys are appreciating the new audio equipment that I got. It's really cheap. So, you know, as the channel grows, I'll get more stuff that'll help with videos, but I have an iPhone 14 Plus, which is a great camera, and then some rinky-dink audio uh, lavalier. Um, so yeah, I hope it's nicer than hearing the of, uh, of my car going through space and wind and all that stuff and the sound of the tires on the road. But let me get back to the topic. Dude, what I say is just start. Like, if you are interested in literally anything, if you want to learn about a subject, then post about how you want to learn it. And then as you learn it, post about what you learn. And yes, not everything is going to be exactly correct. Not everything that we know in science right now is exactly correct. And you know why? It's because the future is uncertain. And there's new evidence of things still coming out every single day. So are you wrong for sharing something and then the next day some new evidence comes out? No. Are you wrong for, for sharing something that you fact-checked but might actually be wrong? No. Because you're sharing to the best of your ability and the best of your knowledge. And that's why we have a comment section. So people can inform and fact check and also ask questions. Like that's the entire point. So don't feel afraid of sharing because you're not an expert, because you don't have enough life experience. Dude, there are like 11 year olds that make like 100K a month or some something outrageous from literally unboxing new Lego sets. And I'm 23. Does that make me mad? No. Because that's their life. And I have mine. But it does mean that you don't have to be a certain age. You don't have to be a certain life experience to see success. It's all, it's all bullshit. If somebody tells you you need to do something first before you start working on your dreams, well, first of all, look where that person is. If they're ahead of you with what you want to do, Take it with a grain of salt. But if they're not, if they're nowhere near where you want to be in life, just don't listen to them. Just don't. There's people that love you in your life that want to give you the best advice they can. And if that advice is biased because they work a certain job or whatever, yes, listen to them. Humor them. 
be a listening ear, be a good student. Because I'm sure that person is probably older than you. Be a good student, but also just remember that you want a, you want a different life. So, man, just go your own way. Not men going their own way. I don't believe in that. That's another topic for another video. But go your own way, dude. There's nothing else more that I could say about that. It's just that simple. Make your own path. Be a trailblazer. And people will follow you. Because people follow leaders. And in these times, there's a lot less chiefs and a lot more Indians. I know it's Native Americans, but it's just the same. There's a lot more followers and leaders out here. Which one are you?